Okay, let's start making a plan. So it is now July. And as I talked about in a couple of my last videos, July means it's time to start making our winter preparations. Crazy thing about in July, but yes, we have to start thinking about winter now. So that means that today, Casey and I are gonna be breaking down a lot of our 10 frame hives, a lot of our pollination hives, and we're gonna be breaking them down into multiple different splits into five frame nukes. Um, we like to overwinter in 5 over 5, that kind of style. Now, we aren't going to be breaking down all of them, but we are going to be breaking down the majority of them so that we're going into winter with 100 hives. That is the goal. So, now it's time to start making a plan and figuring out which hives are going to break down, which ones we're not. Um, so, it's going to be a crazy day. So we've already been timing everything perfectly. Um, this hive right here has started swarm preparation just in time for us to be able to take those queen cells and move them into some splits. Um, they're not going to be capped yet, so we're going to have to give this one a couple more days so we can split that one. Um, but we're going to be splitting down this one. I might keep this down to a... Um, a two a two story deep um these are my og b fit genetics and they've always done really well in a 10 frame so i'm probably just going to leave them as that um versus putting them in a five frame and we already have some of these other ones that are building up nicely we already have this one in a triple stack because they're doing so well we did have quite a bit of nuke sales so we're down to around 52 hives now so we're gonna have to make a lot of splits in order to get back up to that 100, so we'll see how that ends up going. Um, obviously, we're gonna be keeping the health of the hives in mind. That's the top priority. So if we can't hit 100, then so be it, but the goal is gonna be going into winter with 100. Already got this one in a five or five. Definitely gonna be raking down this one. We're also gonna be pulling some honey today because these bees, oh, is that a cocoon? I think that's a caterpillar in a cocoon Ooh. um but yeah so we haven't pulled our honey yet but now is the time that we do want to pull it and it just stopped raining so all the bees are now coming out to go forage some more um and anything else that they collect the rest of the year is going to be them to for them to keep um and build up the rest of their hive with so i guess let's start digging oh you did yeah i think i got all of them to reclaim oh. while we were gone from the genetics of that's what's nice about these uh, little four-way apomes. They kill it. This one should either have a queen cell or a virgin. This year, these Defender apome hives have been my absolute favorite for breeding queens, and I'll tell you why. Why does the sun go away at the worst time? <laughs> right? Well, I think, well, actually, you're standing in your sun right now. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I am. Right <laughs> yeah. So one thing that Casey and I have learned is that when the Queens have a smaller space that they have to manage, that they have to walk the hive. They end up going out on their mating flights and coming back a million times faster. This has been a key for us breeding a lot of queens successfully this year. And also these defender hives make it so, so cool to learn in beekeeping because it's like a smaller scaled down palette. So you're actually able to see how the bees work and see patterns in the bees on a smaller scale. She's in here somewhere. Oh, don't, 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 don't. This is the wind. Oh, there's a cell right there. Um, I don't think that's gonna have anything in it, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay, so they just make an apple. Good. Crap, so. She's in here somewhere. But like I said, some of them, they're already starting to work out, or chew out all the, uh, the cells that they came out of. Yeah. But she could be already out on her flight. I hope on... not. It just rained. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I would like some good weather for the day. So we've been dealing with a lot of wildfire smoke the last couple of days. So we've been wanting to do this um, the last couple of days, but the weather keeps pushing it back. But today is finally the first nice day. If it doesn't keep raining, I see a little bit of blue sky coming in. So let's hope. So I don't know, where. how are you wanting to go about it? Um, 
because I mean we talked about not splitting down all of them but splitting down you think in all the pollination hives or should we only do half the pollination hives mm -hmm. what's your opinion I want to leave one pallet no matter what okay we can do I that I want to just leave them super strong and I want to see what they do in a 10 frame versus what mm -hmm. they do in a 5 frame mm -hmm. so pick one of the best pallets we're going to build that pallet up. That's going to stay a 10 frame, and the other two pallets back there can get turned into more nukes. Okay, well, we might as well just make that the one that already has four on it. Yeah, no, that works for me. I think there was one on it that was a little weak. Um, we can swap it out if you think we need to, but... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> While we chat, you're more than welcome to look through these with me. Um, I figured we'd keep, uh, so the OG B-Fit one that's up there. Mm -hmm. I figured we'd, oh, actually, well, wait, that one's named Chicote now. <laughs> so it's easier for us to remember. Um, that one I figured we'd keep in the 10 frame just because they've always been in a 10 frame and they do really well in it. Yeah. Like, they do really well in it, so might as well. No point breaking them down. Guys, don't be angry. Don't be angry. Don't be angry. <laughs> don't be angry. Yeah, the smoker's up there. These guys... When they requeen, these guys, I don't know, they got kind of angry about it when the new queen hatched. That's where she came out of. Okay, yeah. So, oh, we got brood hatching. Yeah, no, these are really nice. Um, we made a lot of queens out of these. They come back a lot faster. You're right there. Easier she build literally them up. has to have just came out. Wait, where is she? I can't right see there. her. Oh, right there. Yeah. Okay. She's still yeah, there. she's teeny tiny still. All right. Perfect timing. I, I crushed the timing with these. <laughs> we haven't lately. Even if we haven't planned to, like some of the things, like we timed perfectly without meaning to. <laughs> they just fell in the line. There's the cell she came out of. Yep. She'll either be in here on a flight. Let's kill this beetle. Where'd that beetle go? Ah, they'll take care of it. Yeah, they'll get it out of there. One beetle ain't gonna hurt nothing. No. What's your favorite way to take care of beetles, people? Ah. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> that must ah. be a dud. Want me to... Yeah, go for it. Let's see. Let's show the audience what's in there. Oh, there actually was something in there. Oh, oh but well. it's tiny. Yeah, no. They, they already had one come out. We yeah. don't need that one. She would have just off timed them or they'd have killed it eventually or yeah they don't she just stung it when it got big enough like i said some might already be out on a flight you know right speaking there, of beetles right though right where right there i can never find them what's the very bottom very bottom i'm looking right there see at the corner oh she just turned okay right there i yeah. see her now same age as the last one. They're all hatching the exact same day. Perfect. But yeah, speaking of beetles, we actually haven't had any problems with beetles this year. We thought we were going to a little bit in the beginning there, but then the bees cut them all back. I haven't seen any beetles in any of the hives, really. That one, we stripped all the clean bees out and made a small little hive work. She went to a hive over But, yeah, no, um... Let's see how this one came This one, I'm not sure. I can't say that I guarantee that everything's going perfect in this one. So a little hack, if you want to be able to breed queens and raise queens without having to learn how to graft, you can utilize these Apamade Defender Hives. Put in a mated queen with about a cup of bees and um, some sugar water in the little feeders up top and they will draw it out so fast so that she's able to lay and as soon as she's laid everything up, take the queen out, put her in a different hive, let them draw a queen cell and now you have a queen that is being made and will soon hatch and emerge and go out on her mating flight and then you just keep that cycle going all summer long. Some of them were taking a day or two after, we didn't strip them all out on the same day. Yeah. Because I wanted to offset the mating flights. I didn't want like a good idea. 12 queens all off on mating flights on the same exact day. Yeah. Competing against each other. I don't want that to get. Yeah, see, 
So this one's gonna be a little timed a little differently than the other ones. So they're still, they'll emerge a couple days later. Yep. That's and, good though. Yeah, so they're still right on time. Okay. So let's this one. As weird as it sounds, I know there doesn't look like to be a lot of bees in there, but she'll bring back bees with her mating flight. Oh yeah, no, there'll mm -hmm. be, you'll know when she comes back because there will be just full of bees jam packed in there. There's like a cup down there, but that one looks kind of low to be honest, though. There's eggs in it. Oh, really? Yeah, she might be that. Or are they laying worker? That's a possibility, too. But I threw a Hey, love, I just realized what shirt you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great festival. Ignore that, people. <laughs> to be 100% fair, I didn't, I voted against legalization. <laughs> I wouldn't have voted unless it was decriminalized. I wanted it to be like a tomato, not like what they did to it. I knew a lot of good people that helped create the industry they got stolen from them by big business. She's right there. So they should have her in there too. Um, again, I can never find her. Oh, okay. Right there, she's fast. Yes, yeah, she is. Oh, she's still her sister. That don't happen though. Oh, another one hatched? There was two on that frame. Oh. Some of them, like, some of them made them across a couple frames. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have to... <laughs> hey, we've been looking for that. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so they all ended up taking... So there's 12 virgins right there. All right, perfect. Well, not all virgins, but, like, we took this one out. Mm -hmm. This one's already been put in another hive. Yeah. This one got put out into another hive. And now we just got these. Okay, so I guess, um, so we're leaving that pallet. We're gonna break down these and those in the back. There's technically just that one in the back because the one's already in a double stack. That three stack is all empty. Those are just boxes I put there. I mean, obviously, we have to pull the honey from these today. Hopefully, they're done capping it. <laughs> Maybe, or they ate it. They might, yeah, because the wildfires. They and... might have uncapped some of it. Mm, that's still going to be watery at the bottom. Yeah, they're not even ready to cap that. No. Because it's only filled three quarters. This one, though. Maybe. Ooh, that's pretty. Right? They did a good job. And this nice white comb. Like, that's capped. That's... Because she was trying to go up there and lay a little bit. Um, they had them empty as if she was going to lay, so I threw a queen excluder on there. But then they had to refill those. <laughs> Fun fact. Remember in the beginning of all of this, we weren't... We had to wear... <laughs> yeah. And we had to be very, very mindful. As you work them, they learn you. Yes, they do. And then they stop trying to kill you. <laughs> Until you take from them. Once you take the oh, honey, yeah. no, then they're they, mad. they recognize you as an enemy. Yeah, I can't even take that frame yet. No. But they're not doing bad on their honey super. I mean, like... No, they're doing really good. That's pretty. And they drew all the comb in this, by the way. Yeah, yeah, they. That's they the drew thing. the comb and filled it. I know we could have put like seventy boxes on them, but to be fair, they drew a double deep for us. They drew this out. Oh mostly. yeah, we've been having them draw so much comb. So like, I know everybody else is like, I got four hundred gallons of honey. Yeah, my bees used it all to make their own wax again. Well, like, this is a year of building for us. Yeah. We're not focusing on honey yet. We're not. We're focusing on the bees and the wax. Well, the comb really. 
we have like honey is nice when you have all the frames built out you want oh, oh shoot i'm standing right in front of this one no wonder why they're like yo and they're gonna probably try to sting my feet <laughs> Sting, sting. That's the one thing I do dislike sometimes. What? They'll build a small little bridge right here to like right oh, here. Oh yeah, I hate when they do that. This too. little yeah. bridge, and it'll take the capping off in a little spot. Mm -hmm. This makes it a, a nuisance. They're starting to eat some. Ah. That was capped. Well, usually, well, yeah, you're probably not wrong. But it rained for a couple days now. I mean, and then the wildfire smoke too. Yeah, the wildfire. Smoke That's gonna make them start so to gorge. Bad. Like, I can't even imagine, honestly, like, the little close to the ground animals or the animals that are in that forest right now. Like, I don't know much about the wildfire situation. I just know that, like, I hate why, I hate knowing that there's just animals burning. But also, I also understand that if we have wildfires now, more than likely we've always had wildfires throughout the history of the globe. Yeah. If you believe the Earth is a globe. Oh my god. Here he goes with the Earth is flat thing again. <laughs> that is beautiful. Look at that frame. That wow. Nice. Oh, and it's a nice dark honey. I, yeah. I wonder where that came from. That is awesome. Wow. But, um, yeah, no, I just, same reason why I don't like. We'll never take the suggestion of just like poisoning animals. I don't believe that. I don't like to watch anything living suffer. Mm -mm. Oh, they uncap that? They uncap that. Yeah, and they're eating it. Yeah. Interesting. Well, no, I mean, they might have made a bridge. Hold on, let's get this one out. That could have been me ripping a bridge open. Oh. Or whatever they call it. Like yeah. Support. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you probably yeah, you did. Bridges. Which is fine. I mean, like. Ideally, we would like absolutely the perfect, most stunning, amazing, perfect <laughs> capped honey in the world. <laughs> just sometimes these just cap it how they want to cap it. Yes, they do. Uh, looks like they're starting to cap that. Yeah, I feel. I, oh, that's another pretty one, aren't they? Yeah, it is. It's perfect. Ooh. You should, <laughs> what? Next one. Oh, is it big? I think this is gonna be pretty for you. Well, not that side. Not that side, but. Ooh, that's gorgeous. That's nice. Oh, well, shoot! I guess we're gonna have to leave a super on one of the hives. While we wait for it to cap it. Actually. We can only cap, take some of it. We can't take, take all of it. Take these with a super. Hmm? To be fair though, it depends on their honey stores down the bottom. If... Um... <laughs> massive amounts of stores in their brood we might be able to clear by taking the honey away they might eat some oh they might eat some of it and clear up room for her to lay um that's not a machine gun that's fireworks guys happy fourth of july <laughs> Oh, that's heavy. Yeah, oh, I know. I picked it up last that's time. Heavy. Yeah, that's a that's a honey box. Don't bang me. I might need to go get the smoker. No, we are. I got my energy levels in a, in a good place. Fun fact, I don't think bees like to be worked grumpy. So, if you bring them the positive can-do attitude... This is, I'll give it back to you. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. They're starting to eat some of it, though. That's why those are empty. Yeah. They're, they're, 
They've fallen on yeah, they are some eating hard it. times. There. If we take it from them. Well, this frame couldn't be taken from them anyways. No, it couldn't. Kind of has that green look to it again. Uh, not as bad as last no, year. Like, not last year there was like, a weird green look to it. I think that's because uh, somebody had candy out, though. Or yeah. they uh, they could put food coloring in their sugar water and it'd make it that color. It's the whole, like, M&M factory thing, isn't it? <laughs> like, didn't there, wasn't there a thing about, like, bees making a certain color? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I remember hearing about that. Yeah, something um, about they were downwind from, like, an M&M factory or something. <laughs> a down pollutant stream. Yeah, they'll still collect um, any type of sugars that they can get their hands on or get their tongues on. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine a bee with a hand. <laughs> how many full angies would they have yeah so like i was saying we're probably gonna be able to take a couple frames per hive and then just use these to um, um strengthen any nukes that we make so far as it was here i don't think we can take any of these she might before that before we do anything like that. You and that other side over here? Is that one capped at all or no? Uh, they all look like they're exactly capped. Exactly. Like it looks like they have exactly the same uh, of course. situation happening on all of them. Hmm. Whose daughter did this get? Did she get their own daughter here? Um, no, they made their own. They made their own, so this is a yeah. pollination daughter? Yeah. Okay, cool. Bred with uh, the Bladoos yeah, drones. Yeah, all the drones and everything. That's cool. Mm. They, seem to be, they seem to be in a pretty good state of not anger. But the question becomes, in my mind at least, I mean, it might not be a question for everybody else, but in my mind at least, in Michigan, smoke is actually in the air, like, yeah, it's been bad. We have we couldn't even go outside yeah. yesterday. It was so bad. It was giving us a headache whenever we went outside. We're running an active charcoal filter in the house. <laughs> yeah. At any given time, just to keep from our noses clogging up. And everybody knows I love a good conspiracy. <laughs> that one's empty. This one can be moved if we want to. Or we can leave it there. They're building it up still. They were good last time. So. And then we need to figure out what to do with this one over here. Because that one's uh Okay, so today's question is by Josh C00796. What to do with frames in the brood box that pull out comb too far slash thickly? Should one mess with that or just leave it? So whenever I go into the brood box or even just into the hive in general and I see a frame that is super, super thick, I will either one, I will put it against the wall of the hive um, and kind of like smush it there because they will then end up cleaning up the, the honey and end up fixing the cells so that it doesn't come all the way up to the um, the wall like that if i don't do that then i will also move them around so that they're in between two other built out frames because especially if it's in the brood nest um they won't want to draw it out any more than it already is so say those frames that you're talking about the comb is open they will continue to draw those cells out as far as they possibly can the bees are very hard workers yes but they're also a little bit lazy and if they already have a cell drawn out they're just going to keep expanding it as much as they can so if you put it in between two frames like a brood frame or next to a brood frame wherever the thick side is then they will not want to draw it out any further because it'll start to interfere with the brood on the next frame now if you do put it in between um two like empty uh frames that don't have foundation drawn out this is where you're gonna see it get so thick you're not gonna be able to remove any of the frames um so yeah, move it to the wall or move it next to a brood frame so that they don't draw it out anymore. So I know this video was more of a chill and just relax and watch kind of video. Um, but just to kind of keep you guys updated, there's a lot of really big things happening and coming and a lot of changes happening. Um, so stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because you're going to be excited to see what happens. But all right, I'll see you in the next one.